Cold Red. I repeat, this is Cold Red Gophers. Cold Red Gophers. This is not a drill. Cold Red Gophers. I repeat, the time has come, Gophers. This is it. We are starting an all-out war with only one objective, and that is to make C++ the most popular programming language on Earth. Python has been slowing down the programming community long enough. We need to conquer. Things were looking pretty good in the first quarter of the year. C++ was on the rise at fifth most popular programming language, and we gained 0.04%. The second quarter saw another increase of 0.3%, and that takes us to the third quarter. <laughs> in which case C++ fell by a tenth of a percent and fell by one ranking to sixth place. Gophers, it is time for action. It is time to take C++ to the most popular programming language. Now this is based off of pull requests on GitHub, so I definitely could see a few ways to uh, stretch C++'s numbers. Or what I'm saying is we create a whole bunch of pull requests on C++ projects on GitHub. I'm not saying we should do that, but I'm saying that might bump up our numbers a little bit. In any case, to ascend to the throne of the most popular programming language, we're going to have to go through TypeScript, Go, Java, Python, and JavaScript. The ranks of our glorious horde of C++ers is faltering. So the campaign begins. We must make C++ number one, the top of the programming languages. C++ has been despised and underrated for far too long. Luckily, we've got a plan. So here's the plan. Step one, take over YouTube. I'm pretty sure that the biggest solely Python based channel on YouTube is Sendex, which I used to watch them all the time. So in order for C++ to conquer YouTube, we need more subscribers than whatever this number is. So we're going to need at least a million subscribers before we can launch the full assault. Two, we must conquer GitHub and Stack Overflow. The reason we need C++ to be the most popular on GitHub and Stack Overflow is usually it's Stack Overflow and GitHub that make programmer surveys about which programming language is the most popular. If we can take GitHub and we can take Stack, we can take them all. But before this happens, we're going to need a lot of oomph. We're going to need a lot of hitting power. So again, we need to get to that 100 mil mark and then we can really do some infiltration. Step 3. Discord. In order to fully canvas the entire programming language area, we're going to also need to devote some resources to Discord as well. So we're going to need a bigger server, and we're going to need to recruit ally servers of C++ as well. That ties back in with the YouTube thing. We need to find as many C++ allies as we can. The more, the merrier, because we're going to need a lot of them. And this brings me to the first major C++ skirmish. About five months ago, I found this YouTube channel called The Fluffy Potato. He's a fellow game developer, and he mostly uses Python for all of his projects. I actually like his videos a lot, and I think that he makes a lot of cool stuff. To begin the infiltration process, I started off with a nice, innocent little comment. All you need for pixel art is a fresh supply of Microsoft Paint. The Fluffy Potato saw it. Gophers. I'm in. After getting a potato pass from Fluffy here, I decided to further strengthen my cover by giving the video a like and also subscribing. I waited a couple months for the heat to die down, and then after a couple months, I snuck onto his I Learned Godot in 20 for 48 hours. Yes. It was a bold move going in that fast, but I figured it was all or nothing. I was surprised to see that the fluffy potato actually responded himself. Whoa! Turns out we had an unexpected ally, and the fluffy potato already knew C++. After I welcomed him to the epic C++ gang, I decided to further investigate. I quietly slipped into the server on the 19th of October, hoping that no one would suspect anything. Unfortunately, I was found out. Coder Gopher. Are you the real deal? Question mark. I don't believe in lying, so I told him the truth, of course. I am. Smiley face. Throw in the smiley face to throw them off their game. Before I could say anything, my cover was blown. I thought you said Python is not a real language. Cold red gophers. Please don't expose me to the gophers. They can't find out I'm here. Don't worry. As long as you admit Python is a real language. No! Can I think about that one for a really long time? Yes. And then I realized it wasn't just Python we're up against in this server, it was also JavaScript. Tempest says, C++ is meh. JavaScript is the best. What? At that point, I knew the charade was over and I might as well just come out and say it. 
C++ better than everything. Come on guys, it's facts. Hedron then said, I am exposing you then, Cody Gopher. <laughs> After enduring a couple more threats of getting exposed to the gophers of why I was on this pipeline server, I dropped a C++ bomb. C++ is awesome. And the leader of the server himself, Mr. F the Fluffy Potato, saw it. I knew this would be no problem because gophers eat potatoes for lunch. The fluffy potato says, C++ is slow. What? Dot dot dot. To type. Ooh, that was a close one. I quickly fired back. It has the plus plus, making it two times better than any language by default. Mr. Fluffy Potato says, C Sharp has four S's. But we all know that C Sharp is just a cover for a Python agent. C Sharp has been trying to infiltrate the C++ community for years. C++, plus plus, plus plus plus, like that's excessive. We all know the C Sharp is just a gimmick to try and undermine C++. C Sharp is a cover for a Python agent. It's trying to infiltrate the ranks of C++, or so my sources say, and they're very reliable sources. After some intense fighting, the gopher has gained some ground. Python shouldn't be taught as a first language. It's garbage. Yes! After celebrating the minor victory, I somehow convinced the server into posting C++ code on the Python server. That looks good to me. But what's this? Dev Hadron says. By the way, I think C++ is better than Python in many ways, and I am a Python guy. But C++ is truly better in my opinion since it takes less time, much faster, easier to type, good optimization, and there might be many more. It seems to me we have a Pythoner defecting to C++. That's what we want to see. While the skirmish continued on the potato server, something came to my attention on my own channel. I will tell you a thing I found out recently. Sublime text is made in Python. You were the chosen one. You were supposed to destroy the Python plebs, not join them. This is treason at the highest. Either use Atom, VS Code, or code blocks, because this treason will not be tolerated. You will be kicked off the board of the members of the Republic of C++. <sighs> No. Listen, Gophers, if we expect to win the C++ wars, you guys can't keep trying to expose me like this. We can't have that kind of internal power struggle here. Is Sublime Text written in Python? Yes, it is. But, but, I'm using a Python program to write C++ code. In essence, I'm converting Python utilities into C++ code. You can't kick me off the board of C++. What is this? C++ the worst. Binary and assembly gang, assemble! Code Red Gophers, we are under attack! After realizing that a full assault was being made on the Gophers, I devoted my attention back to my own Discord server. A high ranking Gopher officer alerted me to the fact that, well, as he said, Code Red. Python to C++ converts Python to C++. Of course, I checked out the project to see for myself. A transpiler for compiling Python code into human-readable C++ code. Somewhat like what humans might actually write. Gophers to arms. Oh wait, this project is not functional yet. It is in a pre-alpha planning stage. Fortunately, it turned out to be mostly just a false alarm, but still good to know information. Battle stations, gophers, to arms. Python's looking kind of suspicious, I said. And just when I thought we had repelled most of the Python forces. I don't know. You're looking kind of suspicious, not going to lie. Yeah, vote out Kodu Gopher. What? 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 What am I hearing? What is this? A coup d'etat? It sounds like it. To arms, gophers, we must defend from the pie traders. Yes. Surrender or get compiled. Onwards! Shockout says, at least vote off Swift first. I see what he's doing. He's trying to divert our attention away from Python to the threat of Swift. I think we're all forgetting about the programming language called Lua. It gives me night frights just thinking about it. So while I was busy infiltrating the Pythoner server, Pythoners infiltrated our Gopher server. Gophers, this is a call to action. You can help fight in the cause. All you must do is scroll down and hit that enlist button. C++ needs you to join. Turned out to be a successful reconnaissance. As it turns out, the Fluffy Potato does know C++, which technically makes him our ally. Make sure you check out the Fluffy Potato. He makes tutorials and devlogs, and I find his content really interesting to watch. At the end of the day, we're just having fun, so we're not taking this too seriously. But at the same time, C++ forever! If you guys want to see more of the programming language war, just let me know down in the comments. So I hope you enjoyed. Remember, do your part. Enlist now in the Gopher Army. 
Mike Van Buck, Call of the Lighter, is the ultimate guide to country living and how not to live in the country. If you've ever considered rustic country living, be sure to buy Mike Van Buck, Call of the Lighter first. It's a purchase you won't regret, so buy the book today using the link in the description.